Hey everybody, this is 615 Tennessee Titan. Welcome back to Let's Play Shenmue 1 and 2. Alright, last part, we finished the game. This part, I'm gonna show the passport of this game. Not a lot of people, I don't think, I don't think Scottish Ducks, 17 I think his name, or 10X Productions showed the, uh, showed the passport. I'm not sure if they did or not, but you know what, I'll show it just for the heck of it. Alright, same thing as usual, you Suzuki, all that. Same thing as the other disc. Now you see, it looks different. I believe the music is different too. Alright, Shinmu Passport. Now, we have to, I believe, either you can use a file or you can you have to use a cleared file, so I'm not sure, but we're gonna use a cleared file anyway. By connecting to the internet via the link, you can take advantage of the variety of services that will enhance your Shinmu game for the, the internet went out a long time ago on that, so whatever. You can play back the Shinmu theme music or select music tracks from the game you have previously heard. And we're pretty much, I guess, like zooming and all that got like where the music at. So let's start out with this, I guess. this what about this yeah that's pretty much if you want to go ahead and you got the passport yeah that's pretty much the music and all that um theater you can play back select the vent scene from the game you have previous review or shin move promotion movie so let's see what the heck that is Alright, let's look at preview number one, I guess. I'll be honest, I've never seen these. All right, that was a uh, pretty cool. Um, that girl, I think, is like the second character in the show. I think that's um a character we haven't met yet. I think she was originally supposed to be in the first game, but they took her off to put her in the second game or something. I don't know. Loading, yay, great. All right, uh. I guess since we have a little bit of time, I guess we can show. Nah, you know what? You got the passport. That's pretty much like you do. Pretty much just theater. If you had the internet and we were still in like 1999 or 2000, we could have used the internet and uh, did this or whatever. I don't know. I think we still have a modem. You still can do it, but I'm not gonna do it because I have wireless internet. Music, same thing. The last thing you can do is information. Seven Shamu characters provide explanations about various game features. Let's see what this does. It's the first time I've, uh. I've, uh. What's it called? Uh. What am I trying to say? Uh, it's the first time, uh. First time I've seen this, uh, thing. 
Uh, let's see. Guess we can, uh, this is a character we will encounter in the second one, but I won't get into much detail, but we'll talk to her, I guess. Allow me to tell you about Shenmue. Let's see. Let's talk about items. Did you know that you can use flashlights and candles for light? But you must use them sparingly. There are times when you really need them. There are also martial arts scrolls. But you can't master a new move just because you read the scroll. The martial arts aren't that easy. There are also clocks. People who are late for appointments won't gain the respect of others. So be careful. I'll teach you about the notebook, too. It's very important. It contains details of conversations you've had and important information. When you want to review events that have happened, or when you aren't sure what to do next, open it and take a look. It's also easy to use. Simply press the X button to have it displayed on the screen. Oh yes, I'll also tell you about the system menu. All Rio's items are arranged and stored in the system menu. Just press the Y button to open the system menu. The cursor used for selecting items remains on the last selected item, so it's easy to use. Rio's money is also displayed in the system menu. Bus fare, telephone change, etc. But spend your money carefully. You can use it at the arcade, but don't overdo it. And don't forget, you can examine all items. Whenever you get new items, be sure to examine them carefully. You might just discover something new. Next, I'll explain about searching. Use the analog thumb pad. Or zoom control when searching. Many items are automatically focused onto. Yes, this is what we call lock on. When you lock on to something, press the A button. You can do lots of things like opening doors and grabbing objects. If you find an item you need, you'll automatically take and keep it. Finally, one more thing. Anyone who's pressed the start button already knows this, but... Shenmue contains help screens. These help screens display explanations and control information for each game situation. Whenever you don't know what to do, simply press the start button to display the help screen. Things are explained so anyone can understand. So don't worry. I suppose that's all for now. Did you understand it all? Yeah, pretty much with that, you know, there's seven characters, they'll tell you pretty much about information, how to play the game, although I think if you just have one file, you can go straight here. You can, uh, talk to Rio, you can talk about the battle system. Shinfa, another character we're talking about in the second game, Chai. We'll talk more about him in his involvement in the second game, but he really wasn't in the final version. We'll talk more about that. Shuina does the prologue. Chai does the QT. We already talked to Shuin about the game system. She's more used in the second game, but you'll see why. Mark, more about money. He's only in the second game. Or the first game, sorry. Magic weather. I didn't mention this, but weather is random in this game, so yeah, I forgot to mention that. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, and and his only does minigames, I guess. She isn't in the first one either. Or the second one, jeez, man. 
Can I talk today? I guess for one more thing, since we got a little bit of time, we got about like almost four, about four minutes, uh, we can see this promotional movie trip, you know? There's two videos I missed or don't have it unlocked, uh, okay. Um, let's, uh, view the promotional trailer. Into an immense world where time flows eternal, you shall venture. Making acquaintances, then parting. Embark on a journey that shall touch your heart in ways you have yet to experience. Shenmue, now it is time for your saga to begin. Man, that was a quick trailer. Yeah, as you see, Shuling, I guess, originally was supposed to be in the, the first game, but she got moved to the second game. I guess because of the limits. I guess, I don't know. You know what, since that was so short, let's see what they, what's your coast thing. I'm gonna laugh if I have to put this in the half part, and this is like the longest part in the game. Or the largest promotional video, whatever, let's just view it. What's your coast guy? Tighten up your abdomen. Hey! Yes, like that. That's all. You are the young man who has called. Why, my father? Azuki's boy. Alright, and that's, because we're almost in the time limit, that's pretty much all I have to show you, enough time to show you of Shenmue Passport. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna find out more information or something, I guess look it up online, or if you have a Dreamcast and you've never used a Passport, by all means, be my guest. I actually might come on here more often just to listen to some of the music on here. But anyways, that is pretty much the Passport.